Supermando Bros here with my friend. Say say your YouTube name. Um, it's had a lot of YouTube name changes. Just just say a name. Um, I, I think it's Young JJ. Frank and Air the Third. Frank and Air the Third. Anyway, hello everyone. Supermando Bros here with my friend, whatever channel his name is. Young JJ. Yeah, Young JJ. And we're doing the final Godzilla vs. Kong review. Now, th this has been eight months in the making because I was lazy and I didn't do it. But today we're taking a look at Giant Godzilla. Giant. Kong. Yeah, first try. Let's do this. So I'm finally doing it because Godzilla vs Kong comes out in about a week. I'm, for context, this was recorded two weeks ago. I was just lazy and didn't edit it. I believe it's coming out March, March 31st. 31st. Yeah, March 31st. I'm seeing some people are getting able to see it March 26th, but it's coming um, out March 31st. Yeah, I think it's that's like the official for, release date. Yeah. But yeah, so these are the Playmates figures, and I've reviewed every single Wave One Godzilla vs Kong figure. The last ones I needed to review was Giant Godzilla and. Giant, Giant Kong. Kong. I'm not going to go into the background about the history of this toy line or anything because I've done that three times now and I think it's three times and I don't want to do it again. Let's quickly take a look at the packaging here. Now I'll be taking a look at the Go Giant Godzilla and he'll no. take a look at the Giant Kong. So for the packaging, both of them are about the same, I would say. The only real difference is that one has Kong and one has Godzilla and one of them says Giant Kong and one says Giant Godzilla. I think that's the only real difference here. The packaging is about the same as all the Godzilla versus Kong figures in the toy line, except it's bigger. The only real difference between these and these tiny ones is the back has the art that was revealed back in July, I think, of Godzilla and Kong on the uh, on the ship there. That's the only real difference I see. Other than that, it's about the same. It has the same exact description of the film. Two legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as the spectacular secret realm of the Titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. That's about it, I would say. There's nothing else really interesting. Is there anything else you would see that's really interesting? No, I think they're just all about the same just one says giant kong and one says giant Godzilla. oh but i just noticed on the bottom it does say godzilla or skunk and also mine has the instructions to put in the tail that's the other difference i really see let's open this up all right all right there we go it's all it's all all right, so editing me here, I realized I didn't actually view the figure, so I'm gonna do that right now. The figure looks pretty good. I like the way it looks. I'm not sure if this is the same exact one made by Jack Specific, since I don't have that one, unfortunately. So I can't compare the two, but I don't think this is the same one. The sculpt looks great. It looks like Godzilla, and it just looks fantastic. One thing that Craig did notice is that there are screw holes on one side of the body, and it's somewhat annoying, but there's nothing you can really do about about it. I do know the light and sound one doesn't have screw holes, but yeah, this doesn't bother me. One thing I did notice is that the head and also the dorsal fins are made of a rubbery material. I'm surprised the head was made out of a rubbery material. The dorsal fins are understandable. The head though, I don't get why they made it out of a rubbery material. The dorsal fins as well look fantastic. Mine are a bit warped, which sucks, but there's nothing you can really do about it. The paint detail on the figure looks great as well. The only real things that are painted here are the dorsal fins as well as the head. The eyes look pretty good and the mouth looks pretty good as well the dorsal fins look fantastic they did such a good job painting those oh there's a painter right there you can see if there's a circle right there there's a circle right there oh that's interesting and one thing that kind of bothers me about the tail is that the tail is split up in two different sections one section is glued to the other and you can just see extra glue there and then you can see they just didn't do a good job with it and for articulation the arms can go forward about that far and back about that far the hands can swivel side to side the legs can go forward about that far and back that far and the tail can swivel side to side and also one of the feet can swivel side to side i didn't get the other one to move side to side so i have no idea if that's just something that is exclusive to my figure not, I'm not really sure about that. Not as much articulation as I wanted, but it's a big figure, so it's completely understandable why it doesn't have that much articulation. So let's move on to Kong. All right, so now we're gonna jump ship over to Kong. All right, so over to Kong now. 
Big Daddy Kong. Big Daddy Kong. Big Daddy Kong. <laughs> One thing I could definitely notice, I feel like that's easily noticed, is that it's a different color scheme than this Kong. You look at that. Overall, Kong looks great. He does look great. Uh, you can tell that he actually has an open hand, so he might be able to grab the big battle axe that comes with the yeah. light and sound. This came with a light and sound thing? No, there's oh. one coming out that is a light oh, and sound Oh, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and also, I like that the bulls are on the back, yeah, while Godzilla's is on the side, so it's more easily noticeable. Yeah, this isn't as noticeable as you can see right here. It doesn't distract you from the actual action figure, unlike Godzilla. I feel that Kong might... I think he looks better than Godzilla's figure. I mean, I'm, I'm not just being a biased fan against Godzilla. Because he is Team Kong, so... I am Team Kong. Monkey Strong! Monkey very strong. We love monkey. Cherish monkey. Monkey kick lizard butt. Yes. Monkey strong. Paint job on his pecs. Looking good. <laughs> My man's looking good. As you can see down here, you have this little writing on the toy. That's, you know, that's yeah, licensing. Licensing. They put a lot of detail into this Kong action. I think the only real paint detail that is on the figure is the eyes, the mouth, and the scratches. Can you stop looking at his ass, please? <laughs> but you can see that the detail on his teeth, too. They're pretty nice. Overall, I think this might be one of the best Kong figures to come out. Go over the articulation? Articulation. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, yes, Kong, his head can pretty much spin all around. His arms could also swing side to side. You can't really, they don't have any ball joints. It's just, you know, swinging side to side. Could move his legs pretty good. Like Everything's pretty smooth for what it's worth. Can't really, feet could move too. And also his hands. Right. His hands too. Basically everything on him can move except for like his elbows and stuff. You can't really switch that. But it's pretty cool though. I think they put a lot of time into this Kong. So for comparison, let's see how tall Godzilla is compared to Kong. Because in the movie, Godzilla is taller. And that is accurate. It's accurate, yeah. Yeah, Godzilla is taller than Kong in the film. So he is taller. Not by a lot, but he is taller. Anyway, uh, comparison time. Yay! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! So, in conclusion, this figure is pretty good. This figure is also pretty good. Recommend you get them. Would you recommend you get them? Uh, I would definitely recommend getting the Kong. And I'm not too sure about this. Monkey strong. Monkey strong. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm, I'm Team Godzilla, and he's Team Kong. He just. Uh, we, we all can admit he's in the wrong here, so without further ado, see you guys later.